In this lesson, we're gonna go over position three, four, and five of the A minor pentatonic scale. In previous videos, we went over position one and two and also how position one and two connect together. In this one, we're gonna go over the rest and be able to start to see how A minor looks on a fretboard and how, what notes are in it, what notes aren't, and how we can eventually shift it depending on what key we're in. As long as we know the pattern of the pentatonic scale, we can shift it to be in any key that we want. So we'll go over that in a next video. Right now, we'll just go over the A minor pentatonic scale, positions three, four, and five. Five. If you want to refresh yourself in positions one and two or how to connect them, those videos are linked below in the description. Make sure if you like the content that you subscribe and get notifications because there's so much more like this to come. We really strive on making great content for beginner guitar players like you. So as we went over before, the A minor pentatonic scale position one, each one has two notes. Each position has two notes on it. That's why I love starting with this for beginners, okay? That was position one. We move over and you know we talked about before how position one and position two share a, one of their two notes on each string, which is really cool. And so it's like, you know, we start to see the pattern, how it fits together. Position two. And then as we go up, we're gonna keep sliding over. That was position one, starts in the fifth fret. Position two, starts in the eighth fret. And then we slide up to position three and we go into the 10th fret. So for this one, honestly, you know, you could use your first and third finger the whole time. I mean, it's up to you, your, everybody's hands are different. I like to add my pinky in where I can, but if it works out when you go up and down the fretboard and you feel like, you know what, just Fingers one and three work. Or you know what, I'm gonna add my fourth finger here or there. No worries, like you don't have to do it exactly like me. You're the guitar player. You can you know, decide for yourself what works best for you and your hands and your guitar. In the description of this video, you can download all five of the positions for free. There's a free printable download, so make sure you check that out if you really need something to look at. Either way, I'm gonna have it on the screen just like this as we go. So position three starts in the 10th fret, okay? And I'm gonna use my first and third finger for this entire one because the frets in the key of A minor anyway for position three are really close together. So it kind of works out that way. You don't really have to stretch that far so you can use your third finger. I mean, some people might want to use a second. I don't know, it just depends on you. But I like to have that third finger because if you're gonna add some guitar tricks or whatever, like I love hammering on and pulling off with that third finger. So this one, we start in the 10th fret, go to the 12th for the first three strings. So first three, I mean the sixth, fifth, fourth. So super easy, 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, okay? Then we go back a fret on that uh, third string. We play the ninth fret, nine, 12. So 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, nine, 12. Then we come back to the 10th fret for the second string. Then we go 10, 13, then 10, 12. So the only difference is that second and third string are a little different. So 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, 9, 12, 10, 13, 10, 12. It's hard to think about the numbers as you're, you memorize the pattern eventually and the numbers kind of, you know, fall to the background. But anyway, saying them and doing them at the same time is a little challenging. But okay, so that's what you do. And then you go backwards, you know, we, like we usually do, kind of get used to it backwards very slowly. And that's the third position. So in the key, in the A minor pentatonic scale, we have five notes, hence penta. So each position starts on a different note. That's why there's five positions. So the first position starts on the A note and then keeps going up from there and goes through all the notes. And then we go to the second position, which starts on the second note in the pentatonic scale, which is a C. The third position is the third note in the A minor pentatonic scale, and that is a D. And then if we keep going, when we went 10, 12, 10, 12, right? Well, our fourth position will start on the 12th fret. So if you start on the 12th fret, 
What note is that? Well, that is the octave, the double dot slash 12 fret, if you have a double dot there. Um, that is the octave. So if you know how to tune your guitar and you know that that's an E string, well, the 12th fret is an E. Just like uh, the, fifth, the fifth string is an A, the 12th fret of the fifth string is an A, and so on. So they're the octave, it's just, you know, E, E, there's a higher E. An octave is the higher E, or lower E, depending on where you're going, but in this case, it's lower, higher, higher, lower, E. And then, you know, same with the A and all that. So we're on the octave, so we're on the 12th fret, that's an E, and in that, in position four, if you see in the screen, you can use your fourth finger, like, you know, on the first two, like this, if you want, the, but the frets are pretty close together. So I'm gonna use my first and third. But if we were in a different key, we might, if we we're, you know, that position four was somewhere else, we might want to use our fourth finger there. 12, 15, 12, 15, 12, 14, 12, 14. Then here's a little kicker, a little difference. You can use your first and third finger if you want, or your second and fourth, doesn't matter. But then you go to the 13, 15, and then 12, 15. So that again, 12, 15, 12, 15, 12, 14, 12, 14. Then you know the difference, the 13, 15, and then 12, 15. That's position four. You can go backwards on that one, however you want to do it. Sometimes, you know, depending on the solo or whatever you're doing, you know, different fingers will be ready and then you won't have to use the same finger every time. But it's good to not, some some of my students in the past have tried to use one finger every note and I just highly advise against that. Yeah, you can do it, but you're it's not going to help you in the long run. Um, even though that is your stronger finger, you're just, you're not gonna, it's not gonna make you a guitar player whatsoever. So I would definitely, if you're, if you're inclined to do that, I would challenge you to not do that and use a different finger. Please don't just use one finger for these. All right. So then we have position five. Okay. Position five is the last one. Position five actually starts on the third fret. We kind of come all the way back down. I mean, you can keep going up the fretboard, especially if you have a cutaway guitar and do position five higher up the fretboard. But we're gonna take it down right here and start it on the th uh, third fret. The third fret, that note is a G. So we're starting on the last note in the A minor pentatonic scale, A. G, okay? So each position starts on a different note in the A minor pentatonic scale. There's five notes, five positions. This is the last one before we come back around again to that A. An A is the main and first note in the A minor pentatonic scale. So if you really did want to do this pattern though higher up, all you would do is start on the 15th fret and do the pattern exactly from there, but do start on the 15th fret for your first note because that is also a G. But we'll come down here and do the lower notes, especially for people who don't have cutaway guitars that don't have a hand, like room for their hand right here. Third fret is what you start on. For this one, I'm gonna use uh, you know the second and fourth finger for my third and fifth fret because I'm gonna come back here to the second fret with my first finger. And I want my first finger to be ready for that. And my fingers aren't very long. I know there's some of you that don't have long fingers and it'll, it'll take me more time to go boom. I could do it faster uh, if you really wanted to do this fast eventually. Personally, since I have short fingers, I could do this faster with my second, fourth, second, fourth, and then use my first finger here as opposed to doing first, third, first, third, and then reaching my first finger back here. So er, like I said, everybody's hand's different. Everybody is different. Uh, the guitars are different, the feel is different, so whatever you wanna do. But I'm gonna use these finger numbers for that reason um, because I eventually and uh, definitely prioritize the ability to eventually have speed if I need it. So if you wanna do that and you have uh, short fingers like mine, then go ahead. Um, if you have uh, longer fingers, then you could probably do whatever you want here. But since these frets are so far apart, I mean, if you're doing it way up here in the skinnier frets, like it doesn't matter what you do, honestly. We're gonna start on the G, which is the third fret, and then go 
third fret, fifth fret, third fret, fifth fret. Then reach back to that second fret, fifth fret, second fret, fifth fret. And then come back to the third fret, fifth fret, third fret, fifth fret. And you can go backwards if you would like. A little mess up there, but that's okay. We're all human. And that is position five. Position five is really easy to remember because literally your pinky or whatever finger is playing in the fifth fret is literally playing the fifth fret the entire time as you notice if you look at the position. So those are those three positions. Now, if you went over the other two videos I did on the position one and two, you know all five positions in the A minor pentatonic scale. Knowing these, now you can do the pentatonic scale in every key, which we will go over how to do that in the next video. My recommendation is to memorize each of these positions separately, then practice connecting them together like I did in the how to connect position one and two video. This is what the A minor pentatonic scale looks like on a fretboard. All of the notes in the pentatonic scale. Each position will share notes from another position, but this is what it looks like all laid out on the fretboard. When you practice them each separately and memorize them separately, eventually you're gonna be able to see this pattern on the fretboard so that when you're playing in the key of A minor and you're wanting a freestyle solo, you know exactly what notes are in the key of A minor and you'll know where to go and where to come from and what to do to make a really cool sounding solo in that key and eventually in any key when you memorize these five positions and patterns and then start to see how they all look like on the fretboard. And then eventually, once you think inside the box, you will start seeing the pattern outside the box. And that is when you will really create some awesome things. But in the meantime, Memorize, try to connect two of them together, see if that works, you know, like I did in that video. Uh, maybe connect positions two and three, if you already know position two, and so on, and then just see what happens from there.